we thank God for this opportunity that I have to speak on behalf of the church concerning my brother and my pastor too. Pastor Matthew Akin Awokoya. I personally came across him about 40 years ago in this church and there are a lot of things I have personally learned in his life. Much more as we also have the opportunity to serve God together in the northern part of Nigeria. Even when he went on mission, uh, mission to charge, I was at Meduguri, where he was the pioneer pastor there. And the life of this general of God was actually a challenge for all of us, both men and women. Like the pastor from Sudan has said, it was not an exaggeration that Pastor Wokoya was a down-to-earth pastor. And he does not, I mean, pretend serious-minded, a perfectionist to the core. And when it comes to doing God's work, he wanted to give the best to the master. And he was not the type of a pastor looking for convenience. The person that spoke from um, Sudan told us that he was living in a mud house. That was not the first time. He didn't care. All that he wanted was to have a place to lay his head while he was working for the master. And by the grace of God, I can testify that Pastor Matthew Awokoya was dutiful, sincere, and dedicated. He was always involved in anything he wanted his followers to do. He was not the type of pastor that would give instruction and sit down at home. If he said, go for evangelism, Pastor Wokoya will be the first person to be there. He was going with them. And he laid all his life down for Christ. I want to thank God also because all those things we are talking about him could not have been possible without his dedicated wife who was always going with him. Even when Chad was a war zone, gone everywhere, they were always there. And today, when I look at all my children, because they were my children, several times they spent holidays with me when they were very small. And one thing I am happy is that all of them are complete today. Praise the Lord. It was not easy, but the Lord saw them through. Pastor Awokoya was always ready and willing to go. He was never among those who will complain. He will always tell me, my Aburo, I am for mission. I will die in the mission field. I think it was the Lord's will that he should come back and die in Nigeria. And he used to tell me also, Aburo, that's what he calls me, Aburo, I am going to spend 120 years in the world. So even when there were problems, I used to remind him, my brother, you can't die now. You are not here 120 years. And he will laugh. At a time, he told me that he's trying to change his mind because he looked at the world. What else will he be doing if he will not be able to serve God? And I told him the Lord is going to strengthen him to serve the Lord. I want you to know that Pastor Awokoya served the Lord with all his heart and served the Lord to the end. And in the Palai Bible Church, I want to testify, and I believe that those people who had been in this church for some time like me, we all have the same testimony that it was a challenge to our faith. He never believed in impossibility. Like they said, that he was putting his money. Even when he was a lecturer uh, in Meduguri, he was, he was only lecturing. He collected the money and poured it for God. And he used to tell me that I don't want to build any house in this world. Because I am building all the house I need in heaven. And I, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think he did not build any house. 
because he was using all his money for God. And he was, he was somebody who had the glory of God at his uh, own uh, focus. Whatever my brother was doing, he had God's glory in heart. And that was what he followed to the end. A few days before he died, I was speaking to the wife on the phone, and the wife was telling me that my brother brought out his hand and was looking at his hand. And the wife was telling him, what are you looking at in that hand? That hand has worked for God. That hand has built for God. That hand, and that woman was reminding him, and he was so encouraged. I want to thank the name of the Lord that he has rested in the Lord. Even though he wanted to use 120 years, it pleased the Lord that just a little above 70, he should come back home to rest. I want to throw the challenge to myself and to those of us who are still in the uh, war front, that the Lord will help us to keep on and never to look back, no matter what is happening. And by the grace of God, we shall make it to the end in the name of Jesus. I want to use this opportunity also to talk to the wife, that by the grace of God, you have been also a general by the side of that general. By the grace of God, you have stood by him. I want to challenge you to keep on standing. Because for you, the battle is not yet over. For my children, my champions, and my queens that are there, I want to challenge you that your father lived that life before you. Awokoya was not an hypocrite. You know it. And every time you come, he doesn't say another thing to you than heaven and heaven and heaven. He wanted you to prosper. But one of those things that was in his heart, he wanted to meet all of you in heaven. And I believe both myself and all of us that are remaining and you, we shall not miss heaven in the name of Jesus. The Deeper Life Bible Church sincerely appreciates the service, the commitment, and all that Pastor Walker has done to the service of the Lord. And I want to remind you, he has not served Deeper Life. He has served Jesus Christ. And that Jesus, he has gone to meet for reward now. And by the grace of God, and the Bible says that the seed of the righteous shall be blessed. I believe that all of you children shall be blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you so much for coming. If not for COVID and uh, other uh, hindrances, you will be thinking we are having another uh, congress here. Because people will come. Um, because when I looked around, I saw people that he handed over to us in my Duguri that have come from my Duguri. I met one of them um, last weekend. We had one of our leaders in my Duguri in those days who died and we went to bury last weekend. And I saw one lady there. I thought she wouldn't be able to come out from my Duguri, but she told me, she told me, I must be where they are burying my father. Because she has so many children in that place and just other places. We believe that the Lord God Almighty will keep all of us. And one of these days, we shall meet to part no more. Thank you so much.